In Magic the Gathering, there are many powerful cards, and in today's video, we're going to try to abuse one of the most broken cards in all of Magic. Underworld Breach is a two-mana enchantment that reads, each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. The escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost, plus exile three other cards from your graveyard. At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice Underworld Breach. But how are we going to be abusing it in Modern, specifically? We're going to be doing this with Dragon Rage Channeler and Mistress Bobble. Dragon Rage Channeler is a one-mana creature that reads, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Surveil 1. And if you have Delirium, it comes a 3-3 flyer that has to attack each turn. And Mistress Bobble is a 0 mana artifact that says tap, sacrifice Mistress Bobble, look at the top card of target player's library, draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. The reason that these two cards specifically work so well with Underworld Breach is because you can cast Mistress Bobble as many times as you want from the graveyard, as long as you have three other cards in the graveyard. And DRC specifically keeps milling over the top card of your deck, making the Exile 3 Claws either 1 or 2 because of DRC surveilling a card in the yard. In addition to the this combo, Underworld Breach is just a great value play. If you have four or five mana, you can just play two or three creatures from the yard and cast a Mistress Bobble one or two times, allowing this two mana enchantment to be more like a draw five to six cards. And if you're looking for even more value in this deck, we're playing Expressive Iteration, which just recently got banned in Legacy. And as you can see, this deck runs three cards that are banned in Legacy, showing how powerful this deck truly is. And in today's video, we're gonna be running this through a league and just showing how powerful this deck is. Match one, we're on the draw with a fine hand, so we'll keep. We go DRC into Mistress Bobble, surveilling an Underworld Breach into the yard. When it plays out a Swamp and evokes out a Grief, they take our Teferi, cast an Undying Evil on their Grief. Grief comes back as a 4-3, and they take our Consider. We bobble them, and we see a Bolt on top of their deck. All counter spell, so we'll just go to Combat, attack in for 3, and play our Land Drop. When it plays Land, it attacks for 4, and does nothing else, so we'll just go Land into Mistress Bobble. We see a Spell Pierce, that's not good, so we'll bend it. When it goes to Bolt our Channeler, we'll bobble ourselves. We see Consider, you would like that, and we'll We'll just let this go when it goes to combat bops us for four when it plays a dothy we'll consider in response and we find a ragavan we'll fetch out an island and counter this dothy we draw a breach which is a fine draw and we'll dash out our monkey we hit a spyro off the opponent's deck and i decide to cast the spyro here we find steam vents and unholy heat they attack we'll go to a double block and they just undying malice it and they take our unholy heat when grief enters the battlefield another ragavan off the top is fine they find a terminate we'll just play our ragavan play out our land and hope that we don't die when it attacks for four we're down to two and they follow up with a season pyromancer discarding blood moon we find a ledger shredder that's not going to do it so let's get on to sideboarding we'll take out our counter spells for better top decks game two our sevens a tad bit slow but we'll keep it we'll just go scolding tarn mistress bobble and do the bobble trick and for those that don't know the bobble trick is seeing your top card and then shuffling if you don't want basically allowing you to scry with this we bobble ourselves seeing an underworld breach and we'd like that so we'll keep it on top and then we draw a ledger shredder we'll just play our land hold up bolt and hallowed moonlight oh it just plays land and passes we'll just fetch and holy it's a fine draw we'll just play land shock it in to hold up removal spell and moonlight when it goes land into dothy the end step will just bolt it they go to feign death it we'll cast our hallowed moonlight and this causes it to get exiled an ei was a fantastic draw into another ei we'll cast an ei put an ei in our hand bobble to the bottom and land into the exile we'll just play the land and play ledger shredder when it just terminates our ledger shredder plays the land tap and passes we find a land which is fine we'll ei put shredder in our hand land to the bottom and drc into exile and we'll cast the drc we'll play our land and just hold up interact Action. when it fetches and plays out a Hidetsugu, kills our DRC, and then we'll exile our yard next turn. So we're just going to cast our Breach. It's really a use it or lose it this turn. We cast our DRC from the yard, exiling three cards. Cast a Bobble from our yard, exiling three. We'll surveil this Ledger Shredder into the yard. Cast an EI. We'll surveil this land into the yard. We'll play the land. Fetch to get a third or fourth card in our yard, which means we can cast Bobble again. Uh, I guess we'll surveil this Ledger Shredder to the top, and we'll pass the turn. Nice little two mana draw three. With the exile trigger on the stack from Hitetsugu, they bolt our DRC, so they exile it. An opponent just passes back. We bobble their top scene of Bloodstained Mire. We draw into two on License Hearse, which are a fine draw. We'll go Ledger Shredder into Hearse, Connive, find a land. We'll pitch the land. Opponent flips the vessel and then plays a Spyro. They discard Feign Death and the land we knew about. On their end step, we'll unholy heat the Spyro and then exile with Hearse. Draw a land, which is fine. We will just slam our Fury and wipe their board. An opponent just scoops them up there. Let's get into game three. For game three, we're taking out our Teferis for subtleties. Game three, our hands a little land light, but we'll keep it. When it just goes Pluto Delta Pass, we'll go Spire Bluff Canal Pass. When it goes Land into Dothy, we'll just bolt that, saving our Unholy Heat for a bigger creature. Draw we'll Flood Strand, we'll play that, and cast our DRC. When it just plays out a land and passes. We go to fetch a tap land in the end step, and they bolt our DRC. Find a Ragaman off the top, so we'll play our land and dash the Ragaman. An opponent finds a bolt for it. When it untaps and plays a hit at Sugu, consumes all. We find a land, we'll just play it and pass, holding up subtlety. When it exiles all the yards and does nothing, we find a land off the top. When it flips the vessel and again does nothing, 
nothing. We will join them. At the beginning of their combat, we're just going to bolt the vessel before it comes a 4 4. Opponent plays out a land and casts a ley line. We draw a prismatic ending and pass. Opponent does nothing. We draw a land. We'll play it. Opponent again does nothing. We find a ragman off the top. So we'll just cast it. They fatal push it in our instep. They play a land into a grief. We'll just cast our subtlety, putting this on top or the bottom. Then they bolt our subtlety. We draw another in holy heat. We'll just play out our ledger shredder and pass, holding up all of our interaction. Opponent plays out the grief we know about. We'll unholy heat it before the thought sees resolves. They go to undying malice. We connive. And I think we'll get rid of this prismatic ending. And in response, we will cast a hallowed moonlight so that this does not come back and gets exiled instead. We connive and we'll get rid of this DRC. We draw another DRC off of the hallowed moonlight. Unholy heat resolves and the opponent finally griefs us. And they take the unholy heat. So we'll just cast an EI. Finding fury and lands pretty good. Play out the land from exile. Cast another EI and start a connive. Connive away the land we found. And I guess we will put subtlety into hand and EI in exile and cast a third EI. And I guess we'll put a land into our hand and a bobble into exile here and we'll attack in for three we bobble our top card and we see a steam vent so we'll just fetch away we're just trying to find a blue card to pitch breach is not that great oh it does nothing we'll attack in for three cast our drc when it goes to cast a fury we'll settle t this and before it resolves the opponent scoops them up let's get into match number two just a friendly reminder to leave a subscribe it really helps me out and it's free to do they're on the play for match two with a fine hand so we'll keep docking our steam vents and play our drc oh just plays a tapped artifact land find it's a fairy off the top which is great shocking our land and play ledger shredder attack in for one when it goes treasure vault into springleaf drum playing a welding jar allowing us to connive and we'll pitch the unholy heat this means we can play teferi next turn they cast an ornithopter into an aether spell bomb into a sojourner's companion find a bolt off the top we'll fetch shock and play the sacred foundry we're gonna consider here I'm gonna say this teferi to bounce something like an urza saga or something more important enter spell on top can't cast it here so we're gonna bin it and we'll put a bobble into the yard we find a ragaman we'll cast the ragaman get a connive with ledger shredder and we'll just bin the teferi here turning on delirium back in for six and now we just have two bolts lined up as well don't cast another companion don't cast a cranial plating we'll connive ei off the top i believe we'd rather the bolts actually and the breach don't tap their companion equipping the ornithopter with the plating and they just attack with the ornithopter i believe we'll just bolt this and save ourselves nine life actually that was a mistake we just had lethal on board i'm a dope we'll bend this expressive iteration hopefully we just find a land off the top and we did let's find an island cast our underworld breach surveil a consider into the yard and once you get breach on the yard or on the table you should just connive everything into the yard this gives you more fodder and it allows you just to cast a spell if you really want it and we'll connive this bobble away surveil a ledger shredder into the yard bolt the opponent again accidentally turned off delirium like a smart person so we'll try and find delirium with a bobble put a breach into the yard now we have delirium again so attacking for eight and that's lethal yep and that's the game so let's get on to sideboarding bring in the artifact hate for the slow cards game two our hands a little bit sketch but with bobble and fetch land i believe this is a fine keep i'm gonna go citadel into a springleaf drum Ooh, we find another land not really what we we're looking for we'll bobble ourselves here doing the bobble trick another land on top we'll just play the misty and fetch it away and we'll just grab a steam vents here play out our other bobble and pass find an holy heat off the top when it plays out a saga when it plays out a frogmite on the end step we'll just bolt this find a consider we'll bobble ourselves again doing the trick once again because we do have a flood strand we do not want the sacred foundry so we'll fetch that away we'll just find sacred foundry because we have two red cards in our hands bobble finds us a breach great draw oh it does nothing we will consider on their end step i need a ledger shredder i don't believe we want that another heat not great either we find another bobble we'll play that out and bobble the opponent they have a patch for katamantan on top and i think i'm just gonna run the breach out this turn because they might just find a relic here and we will cast a consider counter spell is not great Bend that find a dress down perfect and we'll cast a bobble out of the yard two mana draw two is fine on our end step the breach goes away and the opponent makes a construct we draw a drc and opponent just floats a mana probably playing around dress down here don't finds a pithy needle probably gonna name bobble this was a concern but i don't think this is that big of a deal oh they name engineered explosives they play out a patchwork into a thought monitor they play out a tapped moss or miss vault bridge into a companion into another companion not sure if we can beat this board and we're going down to four yeah there's no going back from this i don't believe opponent bops us for 11 bop of the opponent in ornithopter i think our only out here is to draw a fury we find land ee yep and there's no coming back from this so we'll get into game three game three our hand has no land so this is a mole our six is much better i believe we'll just put back this fury that shock of steam vents player drc cast bobble land is probably the only card i would keep on top and we'll bobble the opponent in the upkeep in a saga and they play out that saga into a springleaf drum and welding jar all stranded into fairy we'll cast our consider now trying to turn on delirium e is okay but i'm gonna bend it and try and get delirium here and we don't want to heat find a bobble okay wear tear i will keep attack the opponent for one and we'll bobble them now because we want to draw the wear tear shadow spears on top and we'll wait for them to play 
play out a creature because they can't activate Saga right now anyways. Play out a Citadel, and then they're casting a Thopter, so this is our time to go. And we'll grab Sacred Foundry. Tear, there's a Saga. Bend anything other than a land, probably. Yep, we'll bend and consider. And they float a mana off the Saga. We cast an Aether Spellbomb, and then cast a Dismember on our DRC. So the last card is a Shadow Spear. We found a land. We'll fetch Shock and bounce the land drop here. This means they can't kill the Teferi, even with the land off the top. They plow out the land again, cast a Haywire Mine, and cast the Shadow Spear. Now they're Hellbent. Another Breach off the top. We'll tick up Teferi. Play our land, fetch out an Island. Play a Breach. We'll play out our DRC. Now start bobbling. EI on top. We'll bend that. Be a Misfault Bridge. Not a good draw for them. Bobble again. Bend a land. Cast our Bobble yet again. And we'll Surveil again. Uh, no land for us. And nice little draw, like three or four cards. Pass up to the opponent. Bolt and Counter Spell is not bad. Gonna equip Shadow Spear to Haywire Might and attacks our Teferi. So we'll Bobble them. Put the Needle on top. Bolt the Ornithopter. This will trigger Delirium. And we can eat the Haywire Might. Unholy Heat just find the yard. We want to fuel up another Breach. And we'll block the Haywire Might. They use Welding Jar to keep it alive. And they play out a land. We untap. We find a Blood Moon. Back in for three. Bolt the Haywire Might. The RC is interesting. We'll keep that one on top. They are land tapped and pass it up. Oh, it draws a card with Aether Spellbomb. Yep. And they do name to Fairy. We draw DRC, cast it. Back in for three. And we'll just hold up Counter Spell this turn. And we'll actually counter an Ornithopter. Then opponent plays a Thought Monitor. Annoying. Into another Springleaf Drum. Draw an EI. We'll go into attacks. Opponent just takes the damage. We'll cast a Breach here. We can hopefully find the win here. Then Wear Tear, Ben EI. Bolt the opponent. Exiling three cards. Then Dress Down. Keep Blood Strain on top. Cast this Consider. Exiling three cards. Keep the land on top still. Play the land. Fetch out our last Steam Vents. And then we can double bolt. And we'll just spin everything still and kill the opponent. And opponent's dead. Great example of how powerful this card actually is. Let's get into match number three. Match three, we're on the draw, and the hand's a little land light, but we'll keep. I'm gonna go Stomping Ground into Abundant Harvest, revealing Wild Cantor. Land's a great draw. We'll just go land and pass, holding up Spell Pierce and our Unholy Heat. I'm gonna go Bloodstained Mire. We'll just fetch up a Steam Vents tapped. Find a Consider, great draw. We'll just go land and pass, holding up Interaction. I'm not really sure what our opponent's up to. Opponent just plays a Mountain, so we'll Consider in the end step. And we'll bend the Legend Shredder. We're just looking for lands. No land. So we're gonna run out this Ragavan. Opponent plays out the Wild Cantor. Cast the Ritual, so we will Spell Pierce this. And it seems like we halted the opponent's turn and we'll just kill this cantor and attack him with ragavan okay and now things are coming together they're a rot priest deck we'll hold up counter spell here opponent plays out a spell skite that's fine my opponent does nothing after that another ragavan we'll just slam our scary to fairy bounce the spell skite no land ragavan connects and hits a mutagenic i'm gonna recast the spell skite and does nothing again no land again for us okay so we're gonna ei digging for a land and there they are we will fetch shock unholy heat the spell skite take up to fairy and attack him with ragavan holding up a counter spell. When it plays a ritual. Again, we will just counter the enabler, not the payoff. Find a bolt off the top, and we find a ritual off their top. I believe this actually might give us the win here. So if we go DRC into a ritual, gives us an additional red mana. Play out a breach, then all these lands. Yep, and then we can fetch up a red source. Now we have three red, which allows us to triple bolt. And opponent scoops them up. That was really impressive. Let's get on to sideboarding. We'll bring in better interaction for our slow cards. Game two are starting to hands perfect. When it goes land into harvest, and they chose land getting this mountain. Land off the top's not great, but we'll fetch shock and play our ragavan they play the mountain and play out a spell sky and another land for us we'll play a land attacking with ragavan and they don't block we exile ground riff and we'll just pass an opponent plays nothing find an ee we'll attack in again no blocks again we exile ground riff again oh, we'll just play our land to pass opponent cast a grape shot trying to kill ragavan we will spell pierce them and we'll just fetch here find a fury off the top no blocks again find a summoner's pact we'll shock in the sacred foundry and cast our fury gotta try and end this game i'm gonna cast a bobble targeting us opponent does nothing another land we will attack for eight we find a mana morphos we will cast that name red blue <laughs> another breach does nothing we will put an ee on one play our fetch land one plays a ritual do another ritual and to another ritual and do another one <laughs> and do another one and they are grape shouting us with all of them and then opponent just scoops them up let's get into match number four Match four, we're on the draw with a fine hand, so we'll keep. Opponent goes Blood Crypt into Inquisition. They take a Ragavan. Considers a fine draw, but we'll just fetch Shock and play a Ragavan. Opponent plays a Saga and Unholy Heats our Ragavan and plays a Shadow Spear. Find a Shredder, so we'll Shock in our Hallowed Fountain and play a Shredder. A land not great, we'll consider. We will bend this land and we'll attack in with the Ledger Shredder. And we'll just consider again here and connive. Find an EI, we'll ditch one of these lands and a Ragavan. I don't think Ragavan's good at this point. Opponent shocks in a tomb and activates their Saga. Opponent goes to make another construct, so we'll heat one. And opponent finds 
finds a Nile spell bomb and instantly cracks it. A no black to draw a card. Bolt is a great draw. We will cast an EI. We'll put EI to hand, ledger shard to the bottom, exile the mistress bobble, cast bobble. Finding another bobble off the connive, we'll bend that one. And we will bolt the construct. Play our land and attack for two. Don't cast the thought sees. An opponent cast a ragavan. We find a heat. Don't think that's better than EI, so we'll bend the heat. And we'll bobble ourselves just to make sure they don't hit anything too crazy. Just a bobble. I think we can fetch that away. Just prevent them from getting anything good off of our top. Bell Pierce, that doesn't matter. And they thought sees again. Find a bobble. I had to consider. So we will consider first. Counter spell. I don't think we want that. And we found a way to win the game. So we'll just bolt them. And I will shutter, discard, whatever. And they concede. Get on to sideboarding. We'll take out our clunky cards for more efficient removal. Game two, our seven is pretty good. So we'll keep. Accidentally muted my mic for a few turns. Basically, what happened is we dashed Ragman, hit one of their Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize a Thoughtseize, and their hand was Urza Saga, Haywire Might, and a Bloodstand Mire. And then they top decked the Thoughtseize. And now they're taking our EI. Find a dress down off the top. So we will dash our Ragman, back the opponent, and they do block with Haywire Might. Play our Flood Strand and pan on getting a basic island. Opponent fetches up a basic forest, picks up their Ren. We will fetch out a basic island. Has to consider. Bobble is not great. Find a DRC and a Hearse. And we'll actually just play a DRC this turn. Opponent makes a construct. And since we have Dress Down, this means that we can just clean up the stuff pretty easily and still pressure the Renin Six. Opponent finds a spell bomb. Opponent attacks for three. I think we just take the three. Opponent ticks up Ren on a Urza Saga. And we will main phase this Dress Down because we do want DRC to be online on our turn. Land can go to the grave. Dress Down resolves, takes out the constructs. Opponent fetches a swamp, activates spell bomb, drawing a card, and you find an EI. We will start on that. Surveil a ledger shard into the yard. Find another DRC and a land. So put DRC to hand, bottom a land, exile land, play land. We will fetch, find another island, cast our unlicensed hearse. Hope we get delirium here. And we do. Back run for three and we'll pass it up. Opponent plays the bobble, bobbling themselves. Picks up on their bloodstain mire. We'll exile that and their ragavan. Play an Urza saga and buy their gigantha. We find a consider. So we will go DRC into a consider. Bottom a land, bottom another land, bottom a shredder, find a heat. We will dash our ragavan. Opponent heats our rag. We will crew the hearse in response. And we'll just kill the Ren here. Opponent plays a goif, does nothing else. We'll lead on a blood moon, surveil the land in the yard, keep EI on top. Opponent fetches, activate saga. We will exile their enchantment and planeswalker. Unholy heat the goif, keep EI on top, and attack in for six. Opponent plays a bobble, bobbles himself, and scoops him up. We're 4 0. Let's get into match number five. On the draw for match five, hand's a little too slow and doesn't have enough action, so I'm all. Our six is pretty similar, but two DRCs is definitely a keep. Opponent goes Shinka into a Ragavan. We draw Ledger Shredder. We'll play DRC and pass the turn. Opponent goes Land into Double Bowmat Courier, and we will trade Ragavan for DRC. Another land off the top. We'll go Island into Ledger Shredder. Opponent bolts our Ledger Shredder, plays an Epic here, and attacks in for two. We draw Consider. That's fine. Play DRC and cast a Consider. Ragavan, I think this is a little too slow at this point. Re also, just not enough action in our yard. Another land, not great. Opponent plays an Aether Spell Bomb, and they're just bouncing our DRC now. So we'll fetch and consider in response. Gain our island. Consider finds it to fairy. That's just not going to be it. And an EI. Our mana is just way too awkward, I think, to keep that. So we got a bin it. Okay, Lightning Bolt's definitely a fine draw. We're going to take three down to 11. Double Bolt. So I think we have to kill both these Bowmats now. Letting them refuel their hand is just, I think, a death sentence. So. Let's go for that now. Oh, it dashes out a Ragavan. Packs in for three. EI off the top. Amazing draw. Go DRC into EI. Bolt. I believe I should keep that. Bobble and Counterspell. I think we have to put Bolt into the hand. Counterspell on bottom and Bobble into the exile. Cast Bobble. Scalding Tarn's got to go to the bottom or go to the graveyard. Play land and pass. Oh, it plays the Synthesizer. Exile and a Synthesizer. They play the Synthesizer off the Synthesizer. They off the second Synthesizer. They play another Epicure. We're down to four. And in the end step, we will fetch out our Sacred Foundry. We'll bobble the opponent. Bobble sees bobble. And we just find two lands. And that's just us dead regardless. So we will move on to sideboarding. We'll bring in cheap interaction for the slow clunky cards. Game two. Hand looks amazing. So we'll keep. Just play our Scalding Tarn and pass. Oh, it goes Mountain to Bowmount. We will fetch Shock and bolt this. Oh, it then plays a Mistress Bobble. Oh, two Mistress Bobbles. Bobbling us. And then bobbling themselves. And we drew an EI. So we'll just play our Scalding Tarn and pass. Hold up Lightning Bolt. And we don't really want our Ledger Shredder to get bolted 
bolted. I won't dash that a Ragavan. We will just bolt that. Another turn, fetch out a Steam Vince. Find the land. So let's cast the eye. Find Ragavan, DRC, and a Wear Tear. Maybe I'll put DRC to hand, Wear Tear to the bottom, Ragavan in exile, and then cast this Ragavan. I won't place out a Synthesizer, hitting DRC, cast the DRC, then just play a land and pass. We hit another Ledger Shredder. I believe we're going to cast Ledger Shredder into a DRC, and we'll just discard a land. Opponent bolts our Ledger Shredder. They keep a card on top. We will offer the trade. And this is a force block because the card they kept on top, I'd assume, is a good one. And we'll just play Floods Train and pass over to the opponent. They play out an Epic here and to light up the stage, hitting Springleaf Drum and Bowmat. They cast the Springleaf, Shock, and a Steam Vince. Play out their Bowmat and then blast our DRC. Take the one off Bowmat. We will fetch a Sacred Foundry here. Find Bobble. So let's go D or Ledger Shredder into Mistress Bobble. Discard the Spire Bluff. Cast an EI. We'll put Shredder into hand, Pierce on the bottom, Canal and Tapped. Bobble the opponent and pass it up. Where tears a fine draw. Opponent activates Synthesizer, plays out the Lantern, Exile our Mistress Bobble. Oh, and they just Exile our everything and they just pass the turn. EE off the top, fantastic draw. So we will go Ledger Shredder into an EE on one, Connive twice. We'll discard the bird and the DRC here. We'll just pop the EE now. Yeah, and they activate Bowmat, getting a random card and discarding a land. We'll attack in for two. Opponent uses their blood, discards a mountain, draws a card. Opponent attacks for two, we will block. They galvanic blast the bird, but nothing after that. Draw spell pierce. We'll just pass. We don't want to get dashed out on a ragaban or something like that. Opponent does nothing. You find a breach. And I think we will cast the breach. DRC is better than another ledger shutter. We didn't consider. We'll bend the pierce. We will cast the consider now in case we, you know, hit something that we can cast off underworld breach here. Then a DRC, then a breach, find land. I think at this point I would rather consider than cast a DRC, then a ragaban, then a consider, find an ending, and then we can fetch out a basic island and then consider again. The island to the bottom. Bobble. I think we'll keep that. Cast the bobble, then a bolt, bobble the opponent, find a saga, which we have the answer to, and then we'll cast a bobble again. We'll keep an unholy eat. And an impressive little turn for us. We'll attack in for three. Oh, it just plays the saga that we knew about. Nothing else. So we'll bobble them on the end step. See another saga. Draw land and land. We will attack in for four. Play our tapped land and pass. Upkeep, we will destroy the Urza saga. Then a bobble. Here's the other Urza saga. We draw a fury. We will fetch to attack for six rather than just four. And opponent's down to three. Opponent just plays out a mountain and passes. Draw an EI. We'll cast that before we go to combat. Opponent makes a construct in response. And then strap and will blast our ledger shredder. I guess we'll keep a spell pierce on top because I think they're only out here is an opponent just concedes. Let's get into game three. Game three. Hand's a little land heavy, but I'm going to keep. Opponent plays a bobble, looks at our top card, and then plays a ragavan. That's another land. So we'll just play land and pass. Opponent moves to combat, so we will fetch shock and bolt this. And they cast a synthesizer. Finding a land. They fetch shock and don't do anything. Find a ragavan. We will just cast that and play out a scolding darn. And they just bolt our ragavan. Opponent plays out a bow map. Tax in for one. Nothing we can do about it. And plays a springleaf drum. We'll fetch for an island and consider in the end step here. Wear tear. Don't think that's going to help us here. <laughs> another land and a bolt. So we will bolt the bow mat now and then play out the tapped hollow fountain they know about. I want to activate synthesizer, exile into Kinzon, and they just play that as their land. Cast an Aether spell bomb and pass it up. Breach was a great draw. We're just going to play a tap Steam Vince and pass the opponent. I want to tax in for two. Plays an Epic here and nothing else. Play a Fledge Strand, find our basic island, cast our Fury. We will just try and kill both their creatures. Opponent bolts the Fury though. This is all fine because the longer this game goes, the better Breach will be. I want to place out a DRC and they have a Breach of their own. I want to mills over a DRC. Opponent plays out a bobble. And they bobble us. Yep. And now they play out a soul guide lantern. No find our underworld breach. They exile our lightning bolt. They finish off with a bolt. We find a ledger shredder, so we'll cast that into a breach. They exile our yard. We find another breach. Not so good. I guess we will just discard the breach to the breach because breach is not great at this point. Play land and pass to the opponent. Opponent bounces our ledger shredder, giving their DRC delirium as well. Cast a bowmat and we take four. And we're down to four, which is not a great life total to be at. Yep. And they just have a strapnel blast. So opponent gets us there. Overall, we did go 4-1 with the list. It felt very powerful. And the only deck that we did lose to was a, you know, fellow Underworld Breach deck, showing that Underworld Breach is absolutely an insane card. And in this list, the I mean, we just did so many value plays with the card. We drew a million cards off of it multiple times. We did a turn where we had almost nothing on board. We had Breach and we had, what, I think five cards in the yard and we ended up chaining into like four or five bobbles, which was insanely powerful. So if you're looking for a really good tier one deck that is somewhat fun, uh, it's a little bit anemic in the fact that it is like, you know, any of the traditional blue red builds but it is definitely a powerful deck and it is very good let me know down below if you want to see more modern in the future on this channel and thank you all for
watching, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe. And until next time.